You know, that's sort of a big question, right? I mean, we obviously want to continue to expand our customer footprint. You know, we want to continue to grow our um, our business, both in terms of revenues and our global footprint. I mean, so that can be many things. So, uh, I mean, A, we're continuing to expand internationally. And and uh, we recently, well, it wasn't about a year ago, we opened at a data center in Amsterdam, began to do more aggressive marketing in Europe. Uh, we're actually involved in some advertising in the World Cup. Um, we are going to announce tomorrow uh, the opening of a data center in Singapore. And um, we have our hosting and um, email services and virtual servers live there in Singapore. And again, we're beginning to up our advertising and marketing efforts in Asia as well, and we obviously think it's a, a, a large opportunity. So we're always trying to balance our growth and expansion beyond North America with can, making sure we're taking care of 8.4 million customers we already have in the best way possible, bringing them the services that they need, and really listening to them about the services that they need, and we've introduced a number of products recently specifically to, to, to meet those needs. Well, we absolutely think there's opportunities with new products, and in fact, within the last um, month, we've introduced two new products that we think are going to be very significant services for our customers going forward. Um, the first is um, a security product. And we always uh, sort of joke that we're the largest managed security service that no one's heard about. And uh, that is true because of just the sheer volume of hosting customers, et cetera. We see a lot of um, interesting activity, and we decided to start offering services that would take, uh, you know, take into consideration things that were happening on the Internet. And we recently launched a vulnerability scanner. It's called a Website Protection. It's been available for about a month. Uh, six ninety nine a month, and we go in and we do daily vulnerability scans and provide you with information about how you need to remedi remediate your web tier if there's an issue. We provide you with a seal to show that the site doesn't have those specific vulnerabilities. And this will be one of a series of security services we'll offer for our customers because we really think that the small business market hasn't been adequately addressed on the web security front. The other area that we just launched uh, through our customer care center about two weeks ago is a product called AdSpace, which is a lead generation service for small businesses focused on driving email leads and telephone leads to small businesses in their localities. And obviously we believe, um, as you know, a great part of the industry does, that local advertising dollars are going to continue to move uh, online, and we see that in recent statistics too. That Know, growth of local online advertising continues to be very robust. Of course, advertising in general and more traditional media is under uh, great pressure. So we recently launched that. Uh, we think it's going to have enormous success with our small business customers. We are, we're doing about 1.2 million customer telephone conversations on a monthly basis, so we have a huge amount of touch points with customers to introduce them to this new service, and we think it'll be great. Well, I think there's no question that the small business customer is our sweet spot, right. and it represents, you know, around 75% of our business. And uh, we don't want to lose focus on making sure that we're taking care of our small business customers. Now, you know, 20 plus percent is um, a personal, where people are using domains and in, conjun in conjunction with website building tools, uh, with blogging tools, with podcasting tools, etc. You know, for their wedding sites, their baby naming sites, they are. Uh, trips, their homework, et cetera, et cetera. But, uh, so we try to be focused on who we're addressing and what we're doing. Now, that's not to say that we won't take advantage of opportunities right. to move up the food chain, which is what I think you're referring to. And particularly in certain businesses like the SSL business that we're in, we see Fortune 500 companies buying certificates from us every single day. Uh, in some of the hosting environments that we offer, we certainly see larger scale companies. And in the domain business, there's many large corporations that are doing domains with us. So we try to make sure that we have um, services that are applicable to those customers, but we really want to make sure we're doing everything we possibly can to take care of the small business customer. We also like to sure, be sure that we're there for a life cycle of a customer. So if you look at our hosting offerings, we of course have a shared offering which is now powered by what we call grid technology, clustered environment to scale up and scale down. We have virtual servers for companies or in, you know companies that want more control and more power. That's been a very good business for us. And we have dedicated 
server offering, and we have some customers that have many hundreds of dedicated servers that they're using uh, for their gaming sites, etc. And we have new offerings that are come out, going to come out in the near future in order to make sure that we're there for the various life cycle pieces of a customer's um, you know, business. So uh, while we try to focus, we want to make sure we can grow with customers as well. You know, we always feel at GoDaddy that we've been in the cloud before the word became fashionable. And um, I think it, we believe in the power of software as a service or on-demand or cloud, whatever you'd like to call it, you know, internet-based, redundant services that may be virtualized, et cetera, but primarily that you access these services via the internet, that it's not customer premise equipment. And we think there's absolutely continuing trend of small businesses moving away from the server in the closet with limited IT resources to providers who can provide this for them, um, you know, en masse at a reasonable price with appropriate security, re reliability, stability. But uh, the, the rap is really sort of joking about what, you know, the cloud washing right. that's been going on, where every single thing is now cloud-based. In fact, I saw a provider a few weeks ago um, put out a press release about their cloud-based DNS services. And, and, you know, DNS is something that has sort of been in the cloud right. since day one. It was hard to imagine a non-cloud-based DNS service. Right. And this was sort of indicative of, the, of, of cloud washing that's taking place. Um, so what, it doesn't really matter what you call it. Right. it it's, an, it's just the notion of getting away from customer premise equipment um, to the software as a service subscription model which I think is, particularly for small businesses, very, very attractive uh, in, a, in an environment where it's tough to get IT personnel, where the skill sets aren't necessarily available, and most importantly, where wh whatever you call it, these folks are focused on running their business, running their marketing, running their headcount, running their finances, not on the IT infrastructure. And that's where a company like GoDaddy comes in as their outsourced IT department. We don't necessarily call it the cloud for them yet, and we may all have to cross a chasm of customer understanding of what that term actually uh, means. So right now we're focusing on just making sure we're providing reliability, predictability, stability, security. That's what our customers are interested in.